Okay, so overall energy we have for you a justice and it's either for some of you you are waiting for some kind of um core decision or something or for some of you just need to make a choice, um be a judge for someone. Uh someone I do feel may ask you to be like um coach or something I just literally like middle man you know in some kind of sort uh, you know some kind of middleman inserting some kind of problems um fathers do feel you need to you're gonna feel like uh, you need to That is, yeah, do feel, it's just mixing like few messages at the moment. So I'm gonna say a few, uh, okay. One of them is, some of you might feel that it's not fair that no one's hear you. No one can hear your, what you're offering at work, what you in relationship, whatever you're saying. It's just like, some of you might feel ignored and you think it's definitely, it's unfair. Fathers, do you think that uh, messages are coming through that uh, you will need to, at work, I think for some of you might get a heavier load or something, fight for more money, fight for a better contract for your position, you know, maybe with more benefits, maybe higher pay or with some bonuses or anything like that, guys. It do feels like some kind of work situation could be involved, you know, and it could be uh, for some time, you know, they're giving you bigger and bigger load. Uh, maybe people leaving, you're not happy without uh, about it, you know, you're struggling, even though you're trying your best, you're still on the top of the things you're doing. But do you feel uh, the thing is that you need to know, you know what you're worth, you know what worth, what you, you know that how much work you do and how much input you're putting in this company working. So you need to find, uh, you need to go to personnel, you know, your manager or something and just say, it's not fair, you know, I should get paid more, you know, my contract should be changed or sh I should get a, a higher position because of that, like be become senior or something. For others, you feel uh, many of you might be during this upcoming two weeks, uh, been working on yourself, like taking time off, you know, figure out things, what is best for you. For others, you think you will decide to change your wardrobe, your appearance, the way you look. It just feels like for some of you, you longing some kind of changes. And if you can't, bring or you don't see any changes coming your way you're gonna change at least something you can do like i said you know change your wardrobe your makeup you wear or you know the hairstyle or hair color anything like that you will feel like need to do this you definitely starting thinking you know um taking the step forward you know something changing something to uh, doing something to, 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 to get into those places where you can have an options and, and saying the things. And if something is definitely going to come to, to, to light for many people, this time of Mercury retrograde, retro, why am I trying to say it? I can't pronounce it. As soon as I turn my camera off, I can pronounce it like nothing happened. <laughs> Sorry. So in this uh, time, you know, first couple, two weeks of April, um, by the looks, it's going to be best for you to concentrate on yourself. And if you think you deserve something more at work, a higher pay, higher position or anything like that, is, yes, please go and ask. Yes, please go and talk about it. But better to do, you know, in the mid after, um, Mercury retrograde. Okay. Just at the moment, maybe just write it down the things you extra doing. 
maybe if there's so many and how long you've been doing those things without asking anything extra, you know, uh, put all the pointers as possible with many proof as possible. So let, literally when you're going to finally go and con- tell the pe- your manager, director, personnel, anyway, you're going to go and say, listen, this and this was going on. Really? Yeah. What's going on? And you literally, you need to surprise them how prepared you to this, you know, to this meeting, to this come up more prepared you're going to be better outcome you're going to get you know it's not going to be like oh yeah i need to go to talk don't it's not going to work you need to prove you i see you need to you know write it down things for how long you're doing this or this um investigate your um contract what is expected from you to do and what additional job you actually do it then investigate similar companies what pay they have for this kind of job load or position or something you know it's time for you to go and ask for more if they won't be able to give you that then you will know that is you need to look for something else some other place where they're actually going to pay for the job you do. Isn't it, guys? Okay, let's pull a few additional cards. See what other messages we can get for you. For others, I can hear if you have some kind of court um, involved, you know, situation, um, or like bef- just about to sign the contracts, don't say yes first time round if you're not completely happy. Because if you point the things what you actually just tell them, you will think about it, take it home, analyze, um, and make a pointers, make bullet points, you know, what can improve, why it should be improved, this and this and that. Come prepared and then the other side will um, make a decision more favorable to you or more to your satisfaction. <coughs> okay, we have Seven of Cups, we have Judgment, we have Ace of Swords, we have Knight of Pentacles, we have Nine of Swords, we have the here font, and in the bottom of this deck we have Oh Emperor. And we have Ace of Pentacles. So again, judgment and justice is Ace of Swords. It's still here font, still Ace of Pentacles still feel guys something to do about contracts even for those who is about to buy a house purchase the car or anything like that don't accept the first time offer you know or don't you know even let's say yeah if you're selling just wait you will get a higher offer if you're the one who's buying and let's say you said 250,000 let's say it just Example, you know, and they're saying now it's just, and they're asking prices like 280, 285 or something. And they say now, don't think, oh shoot, I can't go any higher. Check. I think it's possible you can go even 5,000 higher, you know, and if it's the house requires some kind of work to do or to be done or something, or it's not fully to your satisfaction, you know, go back to the agent and say, listen, we really like this home. We can't go higher than addition, at additional like 5,000 or 10,000. I don't know to just as an example and say, but we can't offer anymore because we are hoping to do this and this, even though it's good and this and that, but we will need to make a certain changes, this and that. So I'm sorry. I forgot to adjust. So it's just that way you can get the way you like it. Um, for some of you, even this, so it's just going to be the same uh, with the um, relationship, you know. If if, if you uh involved with someone and this person is just like, nah, not budging. It's just like literally not budging. You know, said fine, if you don't want to, you know, get married next year or something, fine. You know, at least maybe we can... um 
think about life together a little bit more, like uh, if you want to get get a mortgage for the house or we want to, you know, this or this. Maybe you're not feeling comfortable with the changes, you know, if someone said, oh, will you marry me? You know, I say, I say, no, but we can move in together, you know, or we can do this and that forward and, you know, this going to come in time. So it's all about second offer. It's all about second offer for you. I don't know why, guys. Uh, Who's have similar reading? Uh, cancer. So, he, because I put, uh, just was checking what was in the um, themes. So, if you have a cancer in your moon or rising sign, or, you know, definite, or you're dealing with one of them, it's definitely worth checking their video um, for more information. You know, it's just what I'm trying to, you know, universe again pointed out to me to nine of swords and on the hero fund and these pentacles and it's just like looking at that, you know, the saying message, what yours is not going to go away. So don't be scared to say no first time, um, you know, for, uh, for something, because if it's was meant for you, you will get it either way, you know, obviously you will need to put some work for it, but it's definitely going to happen. For some of you, do you feel definitely you're going like a new business adventure, starting new business or new job or something? Again, you know, before you start your job, maybe the offered wage isn't as high as you would like you. You always, you need to know that wage is negotiable, you know, maybe you can... uh, you know, fine, I would love to work in this kind of, uh, career, uh, you know, uh, place. I would like to work in your company, I would, but I have experiences for so many years, you know, and this and that, you know, I did similar things, so I did this, this and that, I could help you with this and this, but uh, so could you please consider that and be, because I would like a little bit higher pay, you know, or something. Don't go, don't be scared to go after what is belongs to you. Don't be put off, you know, um, with the answer no first time round, or if the answer isn't good enough for you, you know, you still can come to com- some kind of uh, compromise. And here you go, what a beautiful card to get is a victory, you know, so... Um, you need to see yourself as an empress. And we, another card we have he, had here, uh, where is it? This emperor, isn't it? So more value you're going to put on yourself, more you're going to get. What's the main message I'm getting, you know? Um, think highly about yourself. Think that you're worth it, you know. Libra's reading was like, oh, I'm not worth it, or oh, I'm not good enough. This kind of energy was uh, surrounded. You know, you're not surrounding with this energy, but you need to think, uh, like, i worth more. I can get more. And you will. Your attitude, your affirmations, your appreciations for what you have, you know, and what you're getting, you know, will lead you to them. Even bigger victories, you know, in life. <coughs> Sorry. Okay. And it's, let's go, let's go. As you surrender the need to control, you relax energy rapidly attracts your desires. So, um... As I said, I think this energy is, is, lo- is lovely. That is greenery as an empress, empress, you know, um, and that growth and stuff, you know, you need to know, you keep th- you need to think more, think more and more you're going to get. And the last card.
don't believe that the person, oh, they offered me a job. Yeah, fine, I'm going to take it. No, uh, that's where the control comes here. You know, surrender need to control. You know, maybe you're scared that if you'll say no for some ride, it's not going to be yours. But as I said, what's yours is going to be yours. If it's not, it's not yours, isn't it? And I have, be supportive, make a genuine effort to show you care. So maybe someone in your life, maybe your partner, your friend, your parent or someone needs a help, you know, with, with this kind of attitude. So let's see what the book have to say. And it says, all that is need is some extra support and care. Take the time to encourage someone. Recognize the effort that they are making. Being supportive will help create harmony and peace. Just an angle support of all the things. Be willing to support the ones you love. So if your partner, you know, feeling unsure, uncertain, you know, about going to those interviews or something, business adventures going on, record decisions anything like that be supportive pass them a message if it's not this message those messages wasn't for you it's for someone very close to you and someone who's going very important time and you could play important role in their life so be, be supportive be there for them you know help them to be um maybe you have a partner libra um, or friend Libra or someone with Libra in the chart. And they, because as I said, you know, they had this struggle to see, uh, that they worth more or something. Maybe you need to be there for them. If you're dealing with them, especially with them, they need you. They need you guys. They need your support and, and, you know, uh, help around us.